welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial and demonstration today i have the pleasure to introduce you to grfx from imaginando before i continue i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel additionally if you like what i do and you would like to support please do follow the instruction contained in each video description thank you again so grfx from imaginando a granulator effect absolutely amazing this is actually my new favorite when it comes to granular synthesis or effects so as you can see we are inside aum i just have a audio channel i have piano tech as an audio source and here i have um grfx okay and i just added in a soft limiter just in case i need it and then here maybe later on i might be using um polybad as a, a midi source we shall see in terms of the video so what does it look like well as you can see it the interface is pretty good you have standard control at the top which are normal with in application from imaginanders you have several controls in the middle and then the effects and mixer at the bottom so let's listen first of all what it sounds like just with the default preset as you can see that is what i have selected <laughs> So it can go from one extreme where it sounds a little bit like probably a delay effect to really something really magical. For example, here I have selected some favorite, as you can see, selection of banks here, preset here, and also filtering and searching. But let's listen to just what it can do. This is the extreme a little bit in terms of changing completely that piano sound. So as you can hear, extreme uh, change in terms of sound. You can also see up here in the middle, you have four LFO, LFO so one, two, three, four, okay? And if you click here where uh, it visualizes um, the waveform for the LFO, you can see there is an hamburger menu, click on it, and here you can see where the LFO are assigned to which destination, and with the intensity as well, and of course you can remove them as well so clicking here again to exit them but let's move forward and let's listen again to what it can do so kind of magical right and the great thing is that underneath here you have two effects sorry you have two channels right you can send route the signal through this uh, dial here to this channel a or b and then you have effects okay that you can apply like chorus here you have a filter here and then you have a delay and reverb. And of course, if you click here, you can change the effect to distortion, EQ as well. And you have different controls for each one um, that you select. On the bottom right hand side, you have a mixer and you have your channel A and B coming in and also your return one and two, because as you can see, you follow uh, the lines here, you can see is going here from a send one, and then you have return one, send two, re and return two, etc. etc. The beauty is that you can change uh, the intensity of each one coming in, which is great. All the different parameters are there, so I think they are really, really self explanatory. But for the purpose of this initial tutorial, I'm just going to give you just uh, um, an overview, okay? So let's um, go to the next one. OK, 
Okay, let's try something different. Now, grains are fired. The controls that you see here in the middle on the left hand side allow you to, to select how many grains you fire. Okay, you can select the frequency here of firing grain and also the offset in terms of the buffer where they are in the buffer. This is the buffer. Okay, you can decide the size of the buffer here. You can sync it to uh, the host, of course, in terms of size, or you or not. In this case, you go by seconds, as you can see there. Okay, your choice. You can also divide the buffer here into divisions, which allows you then to align the grains to each division and create, for example, stutter effects. Now, this control here is for freezing the buffer, so and um, it's useful because in combination with that, you can actually really see the effect of changing the size of the buffer. So, for example, let me play some notes, freeze the buffer, and then I show you reducing the size of the buffer that the repetition changes, okay? Down to nothing because, of course, the buffer is too small for what I recorded. Okay, you have also randomization option here. You can randomize the frequency here. You can randomize the offset uh, on the buffer. Okay, and you can also um, sync it to the host here like so, right? So that's actually great. Now, on the right hand side, you have the control here for the window. Okay, and it gives you the shape of the parameters, particularly your envelope. Okay, you can further change the shape here. As you can see, you have it up here in terms of what it looks like. You can change the grains within the stereo um, uh, channels, okay? The, the routing here, or routing that I already described, and more importantly, the size of each grain, which can be also synced as well. This control here allows you to reverse the probability, so probability of playing in reverse, okay? Which is really, really useful. Really amazing. Now, here you have four LFO. You select the like so. And then, of course, you can go inside the menu, which I mentioned a moment ago. You can change the shape of the LFO. Okay. You can change the phase uh, and offset, of course, if you wanted uh, to change when it starts. The rate, which is synced because this button is on. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. And in terms of applying it to controls, well, let me show you. So we go to factory and um, we uh, go uh, and select um, the default preset. There you are. And then let's say that you want to change how many grains are present. So you click here, right? And um, oh, you go. there you go and drag and drop on the grain and then you can set the intensity. Click and drag up and down when you finish. Click up here to exit. And you can see now the LFO is acting on the grain style. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. Now, the magic happens here in this uh, harmonic uh, triangle, uh, which create harmonies. Because here you position where you are um, in terms of distance of these three points. Okay. And then you establish for each, you establish for each point how much you want to go up or down in terms of uh, um, semitones. So, and you establish if you want to work in semitones or if you want to work in, in cents, okay, you, you change here the settings. And also if you want to have a randomization of the intervals between the point here and uh, um, the point where you are, and where you, which you set, and of course the three points here, which determines how much it will go up and down in this case by semitones. So, and this, so it's about a probability. Okay, 
You can also set the semitone for each of the points, changing the scale up here. So you can uh, drag left and right, and you can change the scale that you are going to use. So let's say that I want this to go up by 12 semitone, and these to go down by 12 semitone, and these nothing at all. Now let's remove uh, here the, um, let's, uh, uh, go in the menu here, click uh, the delete button, select these to remove. Okay, so we exit that. Okay. Now I could say go towards this point here. So it will go only up, right? And that is how you create the magic, really. You remember, you can revert here if you like uh, the setting of the preset, save, undo, redo, etc. A lot of different options. Now, let's listen to what it sounds like, for example, with uh, um, something more vocal. Okay, so Pipa in this case. And let's connect it to my controller and let's play. Pretty nice, right? And uh, let's listen with this particular preset. Oh, this one. It is also pretty cool when you use it as well with drums, really nice. Um as you can hear, interesting effect. And so on and so forth. Absolutely amazing. It's really, really great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the short demonstration. And as always, see you next time.